everyone, welcome to McCart Pro's educational video for this week. Today I'm going to be showing you how to apply tips to the natural nail, as well as I'm going to show you how to file the different nail shapes in case you don't have pre-shaped tips. Today I'll be using the C-curve nail tips from McCart Pro in the shape of square. These tips come in 12 different sizes with 360 pieces total. When you are applying tips, it's really important to size the nail tip correctly. You're going to want the nail tip to be able to go sidewall to sidewall without being too big on the nail or too small. If the nail tip is too small, it could create a gap from the free edge as well as it will create a tight feeling on your client's nails. If the nail tip is too big, you'll spend a lot of time filing in the sides. Now that I have sized this finger, let's apply some glue to our nail tip and then apply it to the finger. When you're applying glue, it's important to not apply too much glue. You just need a little bit so that the nail tip will adhere to the nail bed. As you can see, this is all the glue that I'm going to be using and kneading. Now, when you're applying nail tips to someone's fingers, sometimes people have crooked fingers, and that's okay. But if you follow the nail when applying the nail tip, you're going to end up with a crooked nail. As you can see, if I were to place down the nail tip right at the edge of this nail, it would be a crooked tip. So instead, I'm going to look and follow the knuckle of my client's finger to apply that tip. When you follow the knuckle and apply the tip, it will apply on straight. Compared to sometimes if you follow the nail bed, it will apply on crooked. Therefore, you should always try to align with the knuckle when you are applying nail tips. As you can see, the nail bed of my ring finger leans towards my middle finger. But the nail tip that is applied here does not lean towards my middle finger. That is because I followed the knuckle of the nail when applying the nail tip. And that's how you apply straight nail tips. Now, my Cart Pro C-Curve nail tips does come in three different shapes. They come in square, stiletto, and coffin. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to file the different nail shapes if you did not have pre-shaped tips. The first shape we'll be doing and probably the easiest shape to cover will be square nails. These are considered easiest because most of the time nail tips are in square form already and you'll just have to cut down on the length like I am doing right here. As you can see while I'm cutting these nail tips, they're nice and sturdy. When it comes to filing a client's nail shape, one of the best tips that I can give other nail technicians from my experience is asking the client to flip their hand so that you can view the shape from a front view. Essentially, they are holding their hand up facing you like this. As you can see from this point of view, our square nail shape tip is not straight. As you can see, this nail tip is actually higher on the left side than it is on the right side. With my McCart Pro nail file, I'm going to go in and I'm going to take away that lift on the left side. Holding the client's fingernails at this angle allows me to see exactly how straight my nail is compared to the nail bed and the finger. Filing at this angle for this nail shape helps you better guarantee that your square is going to be perfectly straight and not angled higher on the left or on the right side. As you can see, our square shape is nice and perfectly straight across the top, not leaning higher one way or the other. The next shape that we'll be going over will be the almond shape. The almond shape is wide at the base, slimmer on the sides, and with a rounded tip. Using curved nail clippers, clip the sides of the free edge at a very slight angle and avoid clipping too close to the sidewalls. The rounded clippers will help you create that gentle almond curve from the get-go and then you can fine tune the edges later with a nail file. Try your best to align the point of the almond with the middle of your cuticle. Because we use the curved clippers, now we won't have to spend as much time on filing. When you file your nails into an almond shape, make sure to file from underneath and work diagonally from the edges towards the center. Don't be discouraged if all the nails don't look the same as this can be difficult, so be patient with your work and remember that it is better to remove too little than too much of the nails. Make sure that when you are filing almond shape that you do not file it into the skin. This is also known as the sidewalls. Continue to file upwards to round out each side and then gently file the tip into a softly curved point, just like an almond. 
If you are someone who has a nail plate that is narrow, try short almond nails to create balance and proportion. And if you are someone who has a wide nail plate, try almond shaped nails that are a little bit longer. Make sure to be mindful of symmetry while you are shaping to avoid uneven almond nails. And here is the finished product of our almond shape. As you can see, the point meets at the middle of where the cuticle is. Now the next shape that we'll be going over will be coffin shaped nails. Coffin shaped nails are also called ballerina nails because they're shaped sort of like a point shoe. They're long, round, and slim with a narrow but rounded top. For coffin shaped nails, you have to taper the edges inwards. File the sides of the nail to an angle, almost as if you were creating a point for both of the sides of the nails to meet in the middle. There is no rush, therefore you should go slow and start with one nail at a time until you have accomplished the look that you desire so that you can go to the next nail and mimic the shape. You're also able to reduce some of the filing time for coffin shaped nails if you use scissors and angle them up towards the side walls. A lot of people will consider that coffin shape is the happy median between square shape and almond shaped nails. The great thing about coffin shaped nails is that you can make it as skinny or as wide of a coffin as you want. Some people prefer a skinnier coffin and some people prefer a coffin that is just slightly skinnier than what a square would be. The coffin shape also looks beautiful with a sharp edge or even a softly rounded edge. It's completely up to you and your customer's preference. And here is our finished coffin shaped nail. Now the last shape that we'll be doing today will be stiletto shaped nails. Stiletto shaped nails are absolutely beautiful but they can be very high maintenance and prone to breakage. To eliminate a lot of our filing time, we're going to go in with scissors and cut them angled towards the sidewall. While you are cutting, try your best to keep the sides as even as possible but if you are not able to, you will be able to fix it with filing. For this nail here, as you can see, it is cut a little bit uneven, but that is okay because we're going to go in with our McCart Pro file and fix it up now. With the file, we are going to file the nail up and over from the sidewall to the center on both sides to perfect the shape, making sure that they are meeting right in the middle. Please note that if you are shortening a stiletto nail, this will cause it to lose the structure and shape. With acrylic nails, to maintain this extreme shape, you want to make sure that your client removes and reapplies after every few fills. After some finishing touches, here is our stiletto shaped nail. And here are the four shapes that we covered today. Follow our tips and let us know how they worked out for you. Good luck on your nail journey!